Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 276. Vasculitis of medium-sized vessels. Name the three vasculitis that affect medium-sized vessels. The three vasculitis includes polyarteritis nodosa, Kawasaki's disease, as well as Burger's disease, also known as thromboangitis obliterans. What group of patients are commonly affected with polyarteritis nodosa? The group of patients most commonly affected are young adults, as well as hepatitis B seropositivity happens to be in about 30% of the patients. What are some of the signs and symptoms of polyarteritis nodosa? Some of the signs and symptoms of this includes fever, weight loss, malaise, headache. In the GI, it would also give you abdominal pain and melena, as well as hypertension, neurological dysfunction, cutaneous eruptions, as well as renal damage. What is melena? Melena is a condition in which a patient has dark, sticky feces, and this is because the feces has partly digested blood. What group of vessels are most commonly involved in polyarteritis nodosa? Polyarteritis nodosa typically involves renal and visceral vessels, but it does not have an effect on the pulmonary arteries. Describe the pathology of polyarteritis nodosa. The pathology of this is that there would be transmural inflammation of the arterial wall with fibrinoid necrosis. The lesions are going to be of different ages. There are going to be many aneurysms as well as constrictions on the arteriogram. This condition is also immune complex mediated. What is some of the treatment for polyarteritis nodosa? Polyarteritis nodosa is treated with corticosteroids as well as cyclophosphamide. What group of patients are most commonly affected with Kawasaki's disease? Kawasaki's disease most commonly happens in Asian children under the age of 4. What are some of the signs and symptoms of Kawasaki disease? Some of the signs and symptoms of Kawasaki disease include fever, cervical lymphadenitis, conjunctivitis, as well as changes in the lip and the oral mucosa, which would lead to a strawberry tongue. There would also be hand and foot erythema, as well as disquamating rash. What are some of the complications that can arise from Kawasaki disease? Some of the complications that may arise from Kawasaki disease includes coronary aneurysms that can lead to an MI or even aneurysm rupture. What is the treatment for Kawasaki disease? The treatment of Kawasaki disease is IV immunoglobulins and aspirin. What group of patients are most commonly affected with Burger's disease, also known as thromboangitis obliterans? The group of patients that are most commonly affected with this are heavy smokers and are usually males under the age of 40. Describe the presentation of a patient with Burger's disease. The presentation of the patient would include intermittent claudication may lead to gangrene, as well as autoamputation of digits, as well as superficial nodular phlebitis. Describe how intermittent claudication may lead to gangrene. The reason this is happening is because of the vasculitis, there is not enough blood supply going to your leg. For this reason, you would first of all have intermittent claudication. This, and because of the lack of blood supply, it will end up killing the tissue, therefore you would have gangrene. Define phlebitis. Phlebitis just simply means inflammation of the veins. One other thing to note about this disease is there would also be a Renaud's phenomenon that would be present in this condition. What is the pathological characteristic of Burger's disease? The pathological characteristic of this is that it's known as segmental thrombosing vasculitis. What is the treatment of Burger's disease? The treatment for Burger's disease is to stop smoking. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.